Hi there, my name's Conrad and today I'm going to give you a really quick tip that I use in Nuke when I'm working with different footage at different resolutions. I've got two images here that I'm going to use as an example. This image of the mountains you can see is 1920 by 1080 full HD and this image of the city you can see is 1280 by 720 so the lower HD resolution. Now by default Nuke fits these to frame um, and you can see up here the zoom level that the image is at. Now Nuke is actually giving each of these images a different zoom level so that they actually fit the viewer the same. Now this is usually great, you get to see the image as big as you want and it fills the viewer, but you can't tell the relative difference in size. If you look down here, when I merge these two over the top of each other you can see how different the, uh, the resolutions are between the two of them. Now sometimes you need to see this difference in the viewer when you're just viewing the images. So I'm going to open the viewer settings and to open the viewer settings panel you leave your cursor over the viewer and you press S. And then you get a properties panel like any other node but these properties here control the viewer itself. So we're going to look at this setting here called prevent auto zoom. Now it's off by default and that's how I usually leave it, but every now and again you need to switch it on. So I'm going to switch it on now, close this up. And now you can see that this zoom level is locked so that when I toggle between the two images, they look relatively different sizes. You can see that the 720 footage is actually much smaller than the 1080 footage. Now this is useful sometimes when you want to picture the difference in resolution between different sections of your script or different pieces of footage. So I usually use, leave the, uh, the setting toggled off like it is by default because normally that's the way you want to work. But every now and again, it's good to know that you can turn this on and view the images at different resolutions. I hope you found this quick tip useful. Follow me on Twitter or Vimeo or subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out when I publish more.